how do we begin to think about all of the resources we have across an entire health system that's focusing on care management, but not focusing on it in a, in a, in a single siloed way. How do all of those components work together from a care management perspective? That's really what Philips was asked to do, is help us understand ourselves, help us think differently about ourselves, and help us begin to craft a new transformative approach to the work that we do with our patients and families. This is a place and a population where a lot of the healthcare resources are currently spent. Unfortunately, when you really start to peel apart the process, there sometimes is duplication of care, not as much coordination in terms of transitioning that patient to the next appropriate level of care. The unique approach that Philips brought to us at Amida was really um, around their co-create process which allows for members of the team, or members of many different teams actually, to come together and not only design the optimal patient experience, but design their role within that experience. The Philips approach is, is very unique. Um, I think many of us that have been around healthcare for some period of time recognize that we need um, outside consultants to bring expertise to us. Uh, what's very unique about Philips is, is they partner with you. One of the things that attracted us to Philips originally was their technique of empathic design, of using our own internal content experts um, to develop um, what needed to be done. The co-create sessions between Philips and the Amita team are remarkable. The engagement that Philips gets from all of the team members, having all of them come together in one place and drop all of the names, the titles, and everyone is able to really identify the problem at hand, get to that problem, and figure out solutions. The staff is taking ownership of this process because we were the ones who created it from the ground up. We were able to make it and make it our own, make it something that we thought was going to best benefit our patients. So with that ownership, we were cognizant of how it was affecting our patients and our workflow and therefore wanted to keep up with it and make it something that was really going to work and be beneficial to our patients. Many times people have not had a voice in helping people with care. They've had a one way, do this particular deed for this person or do this, but yet they've not had a voice. And I think every voice of people who take care of patients is an important voice. What has happened with the Phillips program is we've seen patients um, get more intensive care and more focused care. And the patients are more satisfied. They feel like they're cared for. And so it isn't really about just tweaking an operation or somehow enhancing what you have, but it's really me reimagining and re-engineering the processes in such a way that you're building a transformative environment for the long term.